We sort of landed on this idea of it being sort of separate journeys that come together. You know, they both have to fight Metatron or deal with themselves or deal with the worst sides of themselves and prove that. From today, the authority has no power over us. Today, we are free! It's really interesting, wasn't it, James? Because we had, it was like a, in the books, it's quite, they sort of collude behind a rock, don't they? And then they decide to go out together, like, <laughs> they're like going... They're going to go, hey, Metatron, you see there. Yeah. You need to have a quick tap. <laughs> so, I think because the nature of what Mrs. Coulter had already been through in two seasons, plus what James was going through in this season, they're slightly different versions of the Coulter and Azrael in the book. So they kind of had to come together in this moment, even though they'd actually been quite at odds with each other for the last however many episodes. So we... And we sort of landed on this idea of it being sort of separate journeys that come together. You know, they both have to fight Metatron or deal with themselves or deal with the worst sides of themselves and prove that. So that was really interesting that we sort of went through that process. That's very different from what happens in the book. You know, even though the ultimate end is the same, it sort of was a different journey to get there. But I think ultimately more satisfying because otherwise the turn would be too quick and you kind of had to have them both through their, go through their own personal sort of demons to get to the other side. So I think it, I hope it works and people are happy with it, you know, because it is slightly different. I think there was a, a really interesting thing that the TV show has done where it, it's sort of, it will she or won't she a little bit with Mrs. Coulter, which sort of has disappeared in the book by that point, it sort of disappeared. But there's a little bit where you're almost playing with like, has she gone full good? Is she still a goodie? Is she a full goodie or is she still a bit of a baddie? And in the books, Asriel and her are completely on the same hem sheet. But in this one, even Asriel's like the audience going like, I'm not sure. But the moment of complicity is really nice.